Hi everyone, in this video we're going to conduct a brief overview of the 3D Coat to Unity plugin. The unique aspect of this plugin is that it allows you to use a native 3D Coat file format with all its associated layers. You can find the Unity plugin within the Unity Asset Store browser by searching for 3D Coat. To install the plugin, we only need to import it from the Asset Store browser. In order to add a model from 3D Coat, just copy or save the 3D Coat file to the Unity Asset folder. The installed plugin automatically creates a link between the applications using the native 3D Coat file format. Along with the model, the plugin will import all the necessary texture files in the most optimal format for Unity. In order to insert the model into our scene, we simply drag the model thumbnail into the hierarchy panel or the 3D viewport. To change the settings, you can use the settings sub-object. Initially, it will automatically update the model, but you can disable it by unchecking interactive update. For an example, we can modify the bump intensity, and when we're happy with the adjustment, we can click the apply button to refresh the model. To create prefabs of the model in Unity, which display their own unique material, we can duplicate the model and insert it into the scene. In this example, we will disable the white paint layer. I'll create another duplicate. And we will uncheck the camouflage layer to expose the red paint layer. In 3D Coat, we can turn on or turn off the visibility of the layers that have not yet been modified in Unity, or we can add a new layer and create some new material changes to it. After saving, the changes will be applied in Unity to all the prefabs linked to this 3D file. For more information about this plugin, please refer to the attached README file. So that's a quick look at the 3D Coat to Unity plugin. It's a fast and easy way to get your assets directly into Unity with all your layers intact. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.